and this is Lynn with MI Tinker and today my Ego Power mower is not starting and it started every time for the last three years so this is the first time I've had any problem with it and uh, I know that the battery's just been charged I can tell that the battery's working because I have power but there is something short-circuiting in the, either the wiring or uh, the different connections that are saying don't start. So I pulled the, the housing off of this Ego mower, which I absolutely love, and um, I just checked all of the wiring harnesses to make sure they were tight. I took apart the handle, I worked on that to see if the relays we're connecting and making positive connections in uh, I got it to start once but that was moving the handle up and down so if I move the handle up and down it does wiggle the harness the wiring harness is in here so we might have a loose connection so I just retightened all of the harnesses made sure they were making a positive connection got everything tucked back in place and then we do the green button and then it and it started right up. Let me start. Okay. Now let's flip this. Let's wiggle it. All right, you saw it move. Let's see if it works. See that? It does not work. Now let's move this up. Do you see that move? Bring it back. And it works. All right. I think we're just going to cut this open and see if we see any broken wire back here. Um, but we don't, I don't see any problems with the actual coating. So the other pinch point would be right inside this handle area. We might try taking that apart. There are two screws, one here and one on the back side. So it just doesn't like being bent. So that's where the screw goes in, and it's, I think it's really pinching it. It's got a, almost a right angle bend. So I've already taken off the wrap on this uh, wire harness to see if there were any problems here, and they looked okay. Uh, this one looked okay. Uh, this one, it has a nice little crimp in it right about here, and this one controls the shutoff switch for the handle so um, it you know you've got the pivot that's one uh, kill point you have to have that in the right position and you have the extended handle which is the second one and then you have the start which is the third um, so what what I've done I want to bypass this particular um, connection which I've already done and I'll show you how I've created that bypass. Take the battery out so I can show you exactly what I did. So this is the harness that I took off and then I took a little jumper and one end in the red and then one end in the black like that and then we'll put the battery back in. And test it out. Now we're going to wrap that in electrical tape. So it doesn't come out. And it protects it. Let's give that a go again. Okay, now I'm going to put the housing back on. These things tucked into place.
This is Lynn with MI Tinker and thanks for joining me today and working on troubleshooting this Ego mower and I uh, hope you'll join me again.